What's going on guys, Cardock back again with, uh, well, I guess technically again, because I did do the live stream, so yeah, again, with oxygen not included. Now, I said I wasn't going to put out a video on this until I got a little bit better, but you know, honestly, I don't really think that's kind of, I don't really think that's fair. Um, for y'all, at least. Uh, I shouldn't be acting like I'm some kind of professional at playing this fucking game, because that's a long way from what I am. Uh, I'm going to learn along with y'all, and who knows, maybe y'all will pick up the game, someone watching this will have played a good bit, and will be able to teach me something too. So, we're going to start a new save file. Um, as you can see, this one right here, cycle 23, is what we made it to during the live stream. Now, that was good and bad at the same time, because I think some elements of the game actually wound up broken towards the end of it. Because, I mean, I was, I was setting it where the dupes should have been doing things to lower their stress, but... Like, to the point where I lowered the priority on everything except the, the massage tables, and they weren't listening. So, there's no telling what it was. Might have been a fucking glitch in the game. Maybe I did something wrong. Uh, who knows? But, um, yeah, we're going to start up a new save file. So we're going to avoid destructive dupes, first and foremost. Because I've actually, I have realized that there is some advantage to this uh, vomiting deal. If I set all of my water collection to the bottom, and all of my fresh water to the top, I can completely avoid having any type of a contamination issue, I mean, provided they have obviously don't vomit while they're standing right above the clean water tanks, I can avoid a contaminated water issue later on down the line, so... Yeah, we're gonna definitely be, um... We're gonna definitely be doing that. And, um, I will be naming these duplicates after... After various, um... After various viewers on my channel, people who've contributed a lot to me, at least in my opinion. If you don't make the cut, I'm sorry. Either A, I didn't have enough duplicates this episode, or B, uh, maybe you just didn't contribute as much as you thought you did. I, I don't know. It's it's all, it's seriously going to be based on feedback I get. People who talk to me during the live streams, people who comment on the videos, people who, generally speaking, show up and say something either helpful or encouraging, you know, that kind of thing. Um... Yeah, that's how we'll be naming these guys. Alright. Sorry, Tyler, you get an irritable bowel. Mouth breather. Eh. Not really a good attribute, so... Interior decorator, yeah. All right. Digging, creativity, strength, amphibious. Duplicate moves as quickly underwater as they do on land. Handy, but not what I'm looking for. Negative five athletics. Yeah. No, you're not any good. I want someone who's like particularly good in construction. You're kind of good all over the place. Hey, you're not too bad, actually. Gastrophobia can not cook. That's okay. I can live with that. 
Alright, and this one will go to Marduk. Alright, so you, these three, like I said, it's nothing personal if you didn't make it. It's just these three people have been consistently on my live streams. Uh, Stephanie, I don't even have to begin to tell you why she's getting into the into the fold. Like she's she's half of my uh, my creative talent and, and encouragement here. So yeah, but um, but yeah, Tyler and Mardak are two people that show up a lot on my channel that help me out a ton. So I'm definitely gonna be um, they're gonna be the first three. Um, what are we gonna name this one? I'm gonna start naming save files in reference to metal songs. So yeah. This one's actually kind of morbid. It's a uh, two foot wide, six foot deep. It's a uh, part of a lyric from uh, one of the songs by Bringing the Horizon, which actually, ha, <laughs> wearing the shirt. Um,. Uh, yeah, it's a reference to a grave, so <laughs> being my past uh, experience with these duplicates, it should be really uh, appropriate. I'm gonna move my head out of the fucking way, because I'm pretty sure there's important stuff up here in this corner. Yes, there is. Stress and whatnot. So, where can I go that won't bother? Yeah, these are fine. Uh, I'll hang out up here this time. Probably should have set this up before I started live stream, but yeah, or before I started the uh, recording. But I'm not a fucking professional, not by a long shot. So we're gonna do this the Nick way. All right. So what do we got? Um, of course, we have no cl or n <laughs> only cl only place clean water is is below us. Excellent. All right then. Well, I'll we'll just have to we'll just have to deal then, I guess. All right. Dig. Let's start right now. Yeah. And as per usual, I'm going to be developing my. Uh, I'm going to be doing it in a uh, constantly heading down fashion, and I'll drop a um, CO2 collection tank down here. So let's see. Tile. Tile. Thank you. And I know that they can go down too, so I just want to mostly make sure that they don't have any. There's no chance of them contaminating my water supplies. Like that's 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 the biggest thing right now, is ensuring that my water supplies remain safe. I cannot risk a contamination because if I do, I'm going to have to build extra infrastructure to handle said contamination once we get into liquid piping and whatnot. But this game is just as much about, you know, planning ahead as it is about real-time strategy. You know, you want to you wanna make sure you're well off from the start so that you don't have any trouble with it. Alright. I'll dig all that out. I'll do ladders. All the way down. We're going to tile this off for now, and then we're going to turn it into, okay, that's good, so that whole top's just going to be an open bay. But I wanted to set it where, right at the drop off is where it goes. So I figure that would probably be, that'll probably give me my best hope for actu uh, actively draining off carbon dioxide. Um, let's tile that. Whoa, what the fuck's going on here? Okay, let's... But yeah, these are basically just going to be two giant fucking carbon monoxide conduits. <laughs> and we are going to dig... I want all of this algae, like, badly. Alright. 
Store containers. We'll start setting up storage over here. And pull things back in wonderful. We'll start setting up storage containers over here. We'll set up their cots on the other opposite side, obviously. set them up with an outhouse. I'm going to get a little bit of priority on, let's see here, six. Let's take care of all of that. All of that. I'm going to add another row here, because I'm indecisive as fuck. All that, and all that. as far away from everything else as we can. What's in tune? Is in tune. Dig. Alright, let's see here. Raw metals for that one. Raw minerals for that one. And as soon as they have... I think we've gotten our algae now, so... Organic algae. All right, we'll put our contaminated dirt thingy over here as well. All right, so, so let's figure out how best to go about this. Container right here. Don't have any contaminated dirt just yet, so I won't any good. Storage compactor right here. And they're already dropping shit down the water. Oh, damn it. That's alright. We're gonna wind up draining a lot of this water off. Probably to one main tank that we can uh, then move to up here somewhere. I'm convinced that that's the best way to do this, is to make But I'm convinced that's the best way to go about doing um, this water situation. Is you want the clean water up high and the dirty water down low. Just like you want containment areas for your carbon monoxide. And all this is going to eventually, it's going to start filtering up these two right here. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and prioritize that up so that they'll actually get it done. <clears throat> I 
shit, it's really awesome, but I can't do that just yet. Shit, they're out of metal. Of course they're out of fucking metal. <sighs> right. That should get them on that. Let's up this little speed bit here. us a Musha right over here. Alright. No, I don't want that being a thing just yet, so let's tile that off. So got the seven also. I don't want shit seeping in here yet. I really want them to set this up because I won't have to worry about shit once that's opened up. I won't have to worry about carbon dioxide for a while. I'll definitely have all my stuff set up to handle that before it becomes a problem. And you need filtration medium. Contaminated? Yes, I do. Okay. Alright. Alright. Yes, that's storing it. Already, it, it's already almost at capacity then. Wonderful. I guess I need more storage. It's probably what I'll end up using the space for eventually is just storage rooms. Matter of fact, that is a good idea. So... These aren't going to be anything fancy because they're just going to be, like I said, storage rooms. And once I get gas permeable tiles, I'll just set them up to dump more carbon dioxide. Fuck yeah. Construct. Dig. Oh, 
I know it's hard to breed, guys. It's kind of the idea. Shitty as that sounds. Right now, I've got enough food, so I'm not worried about that. Are we looking on O2? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Tolerable. Definitely tolerable. I need more, though, for long. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder, actually, if I use gas permeable tile throughout here, I could turn all this into clean water storage. I just basically, I would effectively end up just connecting these three sections and just expanding it. So that way one pump, maybe even two actually, I don't think about as much water as that would be, I'd need two pumps. But, uh, yeah. set them up where I can put an air deodorizer in there if I need to and I'm gonna set them up where I can do um, now I've been looking at this chlorine here And it's given me an idea, because I haven't seen any particular way that chlorine has been implemented in the game. Now, I was thinking, what happens if you route chlorine gas through the water, specifically contaminated water? Because, you know, they use chlorine to clean swimming pools and to, to sanitize water at uh, water treatment facilities. So I'm wondering if maybe that's not the purpose of the chlorine. I could be wrong. Who knows? Alright, so that's done. got our fourth duplicate. No destructive. Okay, you're a slow worm, but you are athletic. Yep. And it's a female. Do I have any other females on? I haven't actually noticed any female, a lot of female interaction on here. So. Nah. I don't know. What's your name her? Tina. There we go. Alright, she's got, we got our new name. That's the unfortunate thing is we don't, uh,
There's no point in running right now. It's not connected. None of the necessary components are connected. Right. Starting to get the feeling that the duplicates might not be all that bright. Alright, I'll work on those projects, finish them up for me, and then we'll uh, move on to the next thing. Yeah. Get another sweep order up. This room for metals. This room will be for consumable ore. Now, uh, Tina the Flare is sleeping on the floor. Forgot to make her a bed. Whoops! That happens. You be alright. Get a good look around. I'm not really seeing a whole lot around here. I mean, I'm, I'm liking that we have some water down here, and I'm going to definitely... <sighs> it's kind of a difficult decision to make, because I don't know if I want to do water storage. If I want to do the contaminated water down over just on this side alone, like strictly this side, or not. Because I could just partition off this area and turn it into just one massive tank, but it would take a lot of work. I don't know. We'll see. Hey guys, so just wanted to let y'all know this is going to be a slightly different format from what my normal way of doing these videos is. Um, what we're going to do instead of me clipping out all the boring shit is I'm going to do a full on let's play of, the, of this game because I feel like I, I personally would get really confused if there's big segments cut out and I want y'all to see the evolution of how I'm playing this game, how I'm learning how to play this game, and what I do, you know decision by decision and time by time. Um, if it's too much, then y'all let me know, but there is actually going to be like four episodes out of this one recording session, and then I've got a second recording session, so I'm going to make a full total of eight episodes. They're going to be, being that they're going to be next to not, or they're going to need next to no editing, um, we should, ex you should expect uh, at least two episodes a day. So, I'm going to be able to pump up my numbers a little bit on as far as getting some fucking videos out because I haven't been putting out shit aside from live streams for the last two weeks. And y'all will get to see in like roughly 30 minute increments, sometimes it'll be a little less, sometimes a little more, um, you'll get to see how exactly I'm going about playing this game. So um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.